Hello everyone, in this lecture we are going to discuss a last topic from unit number one that is power transmission devices or normally we call as a power transmission drives. So basic term what is the meaning of drives? Drives are defined as a mechanism used to transmit the power and the speed from prime mover to the machine. Basically prime mover means the source of energy that we can say electric motor engines to the particular machine. So normally in day to day life we see many drives so that we are going to discuss in detail. So in power transmission devices as a drives there are two basic classification one is a flexible drive another one is rigid drive. As name suggests simple word meaning flexible and rigid. As we discussed gears, gears are the example of rigid drive because during a power transmission the element which transmit the power they are not flexible means they are rigid one. By successive engagement of the teeth of in and output shot power transmission takes place hence the gears are the example of rigid drive. Whereas flexible drives the drives which are flexible the elements of drives are flexible as belt chain and the ropes. Here you can see the chain drives and the rope drive fuse diagrams to understand what is the meaning of flexible drives. Few examples of the drives. Here you can see few applications of the metal ropes that is the wire ropes or rope drives which are example of flexible drives. This is a chain drive as a flexible drive. When I am talking about a chain drive, it is considered as flexible drive. And when I consider a single element of chain, it acts as a rigid element. That we'll discuss later on. So belt drives, here you can see a belt drives, chain drives and rope drives are the examples of flexible drives. The first topic we'll be discussing today as bell drives arrangement so you may see the many bells in day to day life so first we are focusing on the arrangement which are very common in bell drives these two are very common arrangement of bell which is called as open and crossed bell drive so in open drive here you can observe the first animation which indicates the two the blue colors two wheels are rotating which I am talking as a bell drive in the open arrangement whereas the another one again very logical by the name crossed so when the bells are wrapped around the pulleys in crossed manner it is called as a cross bell drives so what's the difference between these two in open bell drive the driving and the driven pulley both rotates in the same direction whereas in cross bell drive driving and driven pulley rotates in opposite direction that's a huge difference between the open and crossed arrangement of bell drives. One more important thing which you can observe from this diagram is the angle of contact between the belt and pulley is different in both the arrangement. It is slightly greater in case of crossed arrangement which I can show you here. Let's say this is angle of contact between this belt and the pulley this whereas for this arrangement the angle of contact is this means the belts wrapped area of contact between the pulley and the belt is more in case of crossed arrangement that is why the friction is little bit more in case of crossed belt arrangement here again you can see few diagrams of open and crossed or which is also called as a twist belt drives driven and driven when rotates in the same direction it is called as open so here you can observe and this one is a crossed arrangement so next very common question in our mind what are the different materials used for belts so in you might be knowing leather belts cotton and fabric belts rubbers which are very common materials for belts Along with this rubber and cotton belts, leather belt, one more very important material that is balata belts which are acid proof and waterproof which are used in the chemical industry to avoid the contamination to the food products. Now the next question may arise 
in case of bell drive the power transmission between input and output shaft that is the transmission that is driving and driven shaft how it takes place which factors are depends so i'll just have the important three factors which i have written on board first important factor is the velocity of the belt so logically when i'm talking about velocity of the belt it should be the linear velocity of the belt v so when the velocity of the belt is more the power transmission capacity will be in direct proportion to the v that means if the velocity of the belt increases the power transmission capacity or power transmitted from input to output side will be more second the tension under which the belt is placed that means tension in the belt that is again in direct proportion if the belt is having proper tension it can transmit more power so that is in direct proportion factor next one is the arc of contact that is as i mentioned in previous slide the arc of contact that is the angle between the pulley and the belt so that arc of contact if it is more accordingly it transmits more power so arc of contact tension as well as the velocity of the belt these are the three important factor on which the power transmission capacity is depends next very common the arrangement of pulley which is called as a step pulley or cone pulley so in diagram you can observe there are number of steps are provided on this pulley so here observe this first second and the third so different steps are provided hence the name given as a step or the shape is in conical form so it may be called as a cone pulley so here you can observe this step pulleys connecting this belt from motor to the particular machine so we may have a different speed obtained from the same belt so normally the step cone pulley drive is used for changing the speed of driven shaft while keeping the motor or input shaft runs at a constant speed means we have a one single motor and when we need a different speed to the output machine then we may use the step or cone pulley drive so the next the types of belt we discussed open and crossed belt arrangement now what are the different types of belts so belts classified as flat belts v belt and circular belt so as here you can see the three diagrams of as a simple diagrams flat belt with the corresponding just observe the construction of pulley this is flat belt so of course the cross section of this belt will be a rectangular next one this is a v belt the cross section of v belt is a trapezium so this is a trapezium which is called as a wedging action in the v belt so flat belts v belt and next ones are circular belts so the cross section of this belt is circular in nature so this is a circular belts flat belts are having flat pulleys which is normally called as a crown pulleys which provided with the at two ends small crowning whereas v belts are having groove pulleys here you can observe the grooves are provided on this pulleys because the belts used is a v belt so these pulleys are called as groove pulleys grooves are provided on the pulleys next one types of belt we just discussed the constructions of belt and their pulley now we'll just summarize the difference between flat belt and v belt so where the v belts are used where the flat belts are used and what are their corresponding applications and advantages so here flat belt and v belts drives so basically as we discussed the cross section of the flat belt is a rectangular whereas cross section of v belts is a trapezium so that's the basic difference between the construction of flat and v belt then advantage of flat belt you can say the simple design inexpensive that's why we are using a lot flat belts because of their simple construction so simple design inexpensive 
and it requires very little maintenance whereas as we know the constructions of v belt manufacturing of the group pulley with the corresponding complicated angle that makes costly total drives as well as it is complicated so that's a basic difference you can say between flat and v next is alignment of the shaft in case of flat belts is precise and the pulleys are not as critical with the flat belt as we discussed to manufacture group pulleys it is complicated and costlier whereas flat belts are corresponding pulleys are not critical to manufacture they are very simple so that's advantage where in v belt we requires precise alignment for v belts to maintain a proper tension between the bands so yes that makes v belt complicated very important factor that is to use v belt in many application is this which is very very important slip is negligible due to the wedging action of the v belt so as we know the cross section of this belt is a trapezium and this wedging action provides the important factor that is which reduces the slip that is the slippage over the pulley so that wedging action of v belt is very important that is advantage of v belt whereas as the belt in case of flat belt there may be the chances of slip because of a simple construction of crown pulley as well as belt in case of flat flat belt drive pre tensioning is required to transmit a particular torque so we need to maintain a proper tension between the belt so that is important factor whereas comparatively little bit tension is required between the v belt drives next as flat belts are normally preferred for longer distance hence we can say the distance of flat belt drives are normally ranging from 5 to 15 meter whereas which i can say the long distance whereas v belts are preferred for shorter distance up to 4 meter 3 to 4 meter so always remember we go with the v belt for short distance power transmission capacity of flat belt is low v belt can transmit more power that's the reason v belt transmit the more power because of wedging action as friction is more because of that wedging action of v belt bit between the belt and pulleys by keeping the same coefficient of friction the efficiency is higher for flat belt logically because the friction is less whereas efficiency is comparatively lower even it transmit more power but the efficiency is comparatively low because of more friction that is a wedging action and the last point it is not used in the vertical direction flat belts whereas we can use any arrangement for v belt so we can use a v belt drive to run in vertical position as well next one so what is the conclusion of flat and v belt drives normally the flat belts are used for longer distance up to 15 meter whereas v belts provides uh, for higher power transmitting capacity and for shorter distance so accordingly we have the applications of flat and v belt so you may get the question this to identify images so the first diagram is a flat belt with the crown pulleys so what is the meaning of this crown crown means this pulley is not exactly flat slightly taper or that is crowning is provided to avoid the slippage of the belt over a pulley hence the name given crown pulley the crown pulley is always used for flat belt drives whereas these grooves are provided on the pulley with the arrangement of v belt so always v belt pulleys used are groove pulley it is also called as a shears and flat belt pulleys are always called as a crown pulleys so the same diagrams are shown here the crowning is provided and here you can see the crown taper and crown height which is just to avoid slippage because we know that in case of flat belt drive chances of slippage of belt over a pulley is more so that's why we are providing the crowning 
next one is last topic in the types of belt that is a timing belt or tooth belt so the timing belts are very common in case of our engines timing belts provides a precise speed and gear or reduction ratio we cannot call this as a gear ratio because it is not a gear drive it's basically a belt drives so it provides a proper speed or velocity ratio ratio because of their tooth action of bell and the pulleys here you can observe the shape of this pulley and the belt the belts are having tooth shape as well as conjugate profile is on the pulley so hence the name called as the timing belt and the tooth belt Yes, again the same diagrams to represent to identify the difference between the flat belt, V belt, and the timing or tooth belts. Last one is difference between rope drives and round belts. So here you can observe, just observe all the diagrams. You will get to know what is the difference. So for this rope drives or circular belts, so this is a circular cross section belt and corresponding pulleys. That is a groove pulleys are used, and this one is. rope drives the last one this may be a question or that may be a topic of discussion which side of the belt is a tight and which should be the loose side actually on which factor it depends so very logical i have one diagram for which i have a driving and driven pulley so basically the answer is the tension and the tight and the loose side of the belt is completely depend on the rotation of the two pulleys so hence in this diagram you can observe as this pulleys are rotating in this direction this direction this side becomes a tight as whereas as this is upper side this side becomes a loose side so i can say the tension in the belt as the both the pulleys are rotates in the clockwise direction this side becomes a tight side that is a tension tension whereas this is a loose or the slack side so the slack side that depends upon the rotation of the belt i hope this is a basics and fundamentals of belt drives which are very important which is required for understanding of power transmission drives thank you